Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to The Product Designer. It's Jimmy, and today I will be finally rendering this uh, sketch that I did, the Tesla semi-truck. So um, I'm just going to whip through this real fast. I really don't want to make it too long. That's the reason why I broke this series up is because I really wanted to show you guys the techniques that I did in order to create these renderings. So if you guys haven't seen that yet, all the info, I talk about that in the previous videos. But this one here, I'm just going to jump and do, go ahead and do those techniques that I literally taught you guys in the last videos. I know that uh, I pretty much designed the best cube in the world in those last videos, even with the wonky perspective, right? <laughs> uh, really, though, it's not about how good those cubes were. I really was just rushing through that because I know my laptop freaking runs out of memory so quick that I have to make sure I delete everything, make sure that I, you know, I have enough room so that I can record these videos. Dude, I totally need to get a new computer. And I really just wanted to show you guys how to use the techniques rather than try to design a cube, you know. But if, if all you took away from that was how good my cube was, then, you know, I try to help everybody, but sometimes some people need more help than I can actually offer. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to hop right into it, utilizing and pretty much showing you guys exactly how I use these techniques. So I'm just going to block it out now. I'm going to block out this window here using the pen tool, uh, creating a new layer and then filling it in with red or usually a different color just so I could differentiate the different shapes. I will delete that extra section, lower the opacity, and so that I could see kind of the drawing a little bit better. And I'm gonna move this sketch upwards and then I'm gonna create a background so uh, it'll be easier for me to work with. I'll lower the opacity so that you could still kind of see it, but I'm gonna have to create a white background so I'm not just seeing this checkerboard this whole time here. Let's move on to, I'm trying to figure out what I wanna do next. Usually when I'm first starting off, with a rendering it, it always is a little bit you know iffy at first i'm trying to figure out exactly my process how i'm gonna do exactly do things because every situation is a little bit different i always tend to do the same things like i'll block things out and then i'll do the clipping mask and I'll, that's how i'll shade them but as far as trying to like build certain things uh, usually takes some thinking to really figure out, well, okay, what's the best way to do this? So a car is a little different because uh, uh, the lines in vehicles are different in the sense that they fade in and out. So you'll see a lot of that where a car's lines, they'll, they'll, they'll slowly gradiate inwards and then they'll be thick at some points and then they'll fade away. And usually with lines in a product, they usually run really really hard all the way around the product and so it's it's different when you're trying to render that versus when you're trying to render a line that goes in and out that fades in and out and so right here i'm doing the uh wheel so i'll, I'll do the rim of the wheel I, I did pretty much just two ellipses one on the outside one on the inside on two different layers and then i shade the lower one in and it kind of makes it look three-dimensional with the two layers on top of each other with that type of shading where there's a dark spot at the bottom and then a highlight up top okay so now i'm going to start blocking out some details like this headlight right here and you know just this is not rocket science guys it's really just taking your time out to block it and so you're gonna have to get really good at the pen tool it's gonna be really slow at first but then later you're gonna just start becoming super fast with it and the faster you learn how to use that pen tool the quicker it's gonna be just because you know at first it's really the boring stuff it's really just blocking stuff out like this when you start shading it and it starts to you know look like something I usually sometimes I tend to uh, add noise a little too early because I just want to see it um, kind of realistic but then I would have to blur it again so it kind of defeats the purpose so right now uh, this truck here there's a really hard edge on this side so there's a front and then the side and so what I'm going to do by differentiating them is I'm going to draw this dark shadow that runs all the way down the side here connecting to the headlight I'll blur it a little bit so that it doesn't look so hard and it'll just make it look a little more real 
as you guys can see there. So it kind of differentiates the front and then the side of the vehicle, giving it more of a three-dimensional shape rather than just having it be two-dimensional. And I'm doing this by uh, breaking up the different sides, utilizing you know shadows, dark colors, light colors. And then I'm going to do this top roof part here. So I'll make it dark by getting that line, that little line, and then I'll make it all white because the top part is usually the brightest part of the whole vehicle. That's where like the sun is hitting it. Okay, so let's see what I want to do now. I just I think I want to block out this air intake here, which is not really an air intake because it's an electric vehicle. It's electric vehicles, they don't really need uh, air intakes, but it's definitely something that we're not quite completely used to getting rid of in vehicle design. So I'm just going to block this off here and I'll add the details in later on. But this is pretty much what I do, guys. Like it's not, you know, fancy. This is the reason why people fast forward this part of the videos, because it's really just doing the dirty work. It's really breaking down the parts. So I'll finish this up, uh, continuing on in the next video. But anyways, guys, if you learned a thing or two, definitely hit that thumbs up button. Also leave a comment down below if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about or if there's any questions that you have it's a very helpful community and somebody will be able to answer your industrial design question if you haven't yet definitely hit that subscribe button so that more videos come right to you guys my name is jimmy and i will catch you in the next video peace